Can you name a few objects that provide us with light? A bulb, a candle, and a torch. The sun and the stars. Objects that give out light are called luminous objects. Are you luminous? I don't give out light. Exactly. That makes you non-luminous. Objects that do not give out light are called non-luminous objects. We are able to see non-luminous objects around us because of light. We cannot see anything when there is no light. So what happens to these different types of non-luminous objects when light falls onto them? Let's have a closer look. Can you see through this glass window? Yes, look at that bird. You can see the bird because the window allows light to pass through. Objects that allow light to pass through are called transparent objects. We can see through transparent objects. Clear water, glass and some plastic sheets are a few examples of transparent objects. The air around us is also transparent. Yes. This passing of light through materials is called transmission of light. Now we know that the light passes through transparent objects. But what about the objects that we cannot see through? What do you see when you stand in front of a mirror? I can see myself in a mirror. That's your reflection. We can see our reflection due to reflection of light. When light falls onto a shiny surface, it bounces back. This bouncing back of light is called reflection of light. The light inside the room falls onto this mirror and reflects due to its shiny surface. Thus, we can see our reflection. Now. Can you see through this wall? Of course not. That's because this wall is opaque. Objects that do not allow any light to pass through them are called opaque objects. We cannot see through opaque objects. A shadow is formed when light falls onto opaque objects. Oh, so am I opaque? Yes. When light falls onto opaque objects, some of the light is reflected while the rest is absorbed. The amount of light absorbed by an object depends on its color. Dark colors like black or dark brown absorb more light, while light colors like white or light gray absorb less light. Now, let's see this plastic sheet. Can you see through it? I can't see clearly. Everything is blurred. If you look through this plastic sheet, you won't be able to see clearly. Everything is blurred. This sheet is an example of a translucent object. Translucent objects allow some part of the light to pass through them and reflect or absorb the rest of the light. Therefore, we cannot see clearly through them. Frosted glass, plastic, honey, jelly are some examples of translucent objects. Time to summarize. Objects that give out light are called luminous, while those that cannot give out light are called non-luminous objects. Non-luminous objects can be transparent, translucent, or opaque. The phenomenon of passing of light through an object as it falls onto it is called transmission of light. When light falls onto a shiny and smooth surface, it bounces back. 
This is called reflection of light. Absorption of light happens when no light is reflected and no light passes through an object.